I just wanted to start with this. Uh, you know, uh, I started with RPA. I think most of us did start with RPA. And the great thing about RPA, if uh, you guys have seen, is the optics of it, right? I used to take this to our uh, business managers, uh, whether it's HR, finance, or supply chain, anyone, and they would be like, wow, this is amazing, you know, that uh, the RPA uh, can do a lot of things. And many people uh, consider this as an early AI, a rule-based AI. Uh, though there are differences, but this AI could do a lot. It could uh, carry out actions. It was really tangible uh, benefit that people got by automation. Uh, so that's where we started. And then uh, this is a slide I made like two years before, before uh, for our cohort. And um, you know, the the thing with RPA is that uh, it's it's been uh, about carrying out tasks, right? So that's it. It did that very well, and we we've uh, you know we've all used that. It's quick, it's tactical, but then we found that there are so many things, you know, few things that's missing, right? One is the process complexity. We would we would implement a process, and then get back to the um, you know, customer that we have implemented this process, and then they would say this part of this process is missing, and you know we realized that yeah, there's a lot of complexity from what people are talking about. So you know we've seen the evolution or the uh, introduction of process mining, task mining that has been you know doing very well, especially in, you know and helping us understand the processes. So it's like a sense and act, you know, sensing what the process is and acting. So that 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 concept was introduced, and then we said that we saw that. There's a lot more capabilities that can be added, improved. Like, you know, when we were doing the taking out data for finance from a PDF, that was not quite possible with the OCR available at that point of time. Uh, and then we said, you know, how about using AI for unstructured data? And that's how we've got a lot of these AI unstructured tools, uh, you know, whether it is uh, Decipher from Blue Prism or uh, Document Understanding from UiPath. So this has been, that's been one of the critical things for uh, RPA has been the introduction of AI and how that could free up the unstructured data and various aspects of things, right? Like AI has been helpful in understanding sentiment. So basically traditional machine learning has been very helpful. Um, but now, and this is slide, uh, as I said, two years back, but even then we were thinking of that we'll go towards an autonomous side uh, where we'll have more advanced AI. And I think with API or uh, agentic process automation or whatever the agentic uh, evolution is happening, we are getting into that phase. We actually are uh, getting a powerful AI which can carry out tasks. And that's basically the uh, about using the uh, due to the introduction of LLMs. And at the end of the day, these are all LLMs. And you know, but the LLMs, as we'll see, can be or can do uh, various tasks, right? And uh, the thing about um, uh, RPA has been that it introduced this concept of bots, right? Uh, so a software bot. Uh, though it was a role-based automation, but it laid the foundation on creating that concept, creating that, as I showed earlier, creating that enthusiasm about automation and bots, uh, though it was manual, and, and we always felt it has to improve. So we moved into AI with intelligent automation. And now we are at that place where we can use agents, uh, which is basically LLMs, as we'll talk about, uh, to create uh, things that can do various things. Uh, and, and we'll talk about like uh, automating even the workflow that uh, uh, you know that we were doing manually using RPA. 